Now tonight, a milestone in the debate about race and fairness in America. In a big decision today, the Supreme Court allowed the state of Michigan to ban affirmative action at colleges. But one justice was so passionate in opposition, passionate about discrimination, even in 2014, she did something she has never done before. ABC's Ryan Smith tells us. Closely watching the Supreme Court today, Markeith Jones, a high school student from Detroit, hoping to attend the University of Michigan. I think it's disgusting. I'm infuriated, actually, and it just, it doesn't make any sense. It is a major blow for supporters of affirmative action. The court ruling today in a 6-2 decision that it's okay for Michigan voters to decide that race should not be a factor in its public university admissions. Today's uh, decision by the United States Supreme Court is a victory for the Constitution, victory for the voters of Michigan, and victory for the rule of law. Justice Anthony Kennedy, speaking for the court, wrote, quote, this case is not about how the debate about racial preference should be resolved. It is about who may resolve it. But in a blistering dissent, Justice Sonia Sotomayor, a Princeton graduate and the court's first Latina justice, who's called herself a product of affirmative action, took the unusual step of reading her opinion from the bench, saying, quote, race matters. Race matters in part because of a long history of racial minorities being denied access to the political process. The numbers show in states that have banned race-based admissions, minority student enrollment has dropped. At Michigan State, when affirmative action was still in place, up to 10% of new students were African American. And 5%. Five other states have similar laws already in place. Do you think other states will follow Michigan's lead? I think it just opens the door. I'm not sure how many states are going to walk through that door, quite honestly. For students like Markeith, there's no giving up. I mean, this is my dream school. If I don't get accepted my first try, then I appeal. And if I don't get in then, then, I mean, I'm just going to fight to get in. Ryan Smith, ABC News, New York.